Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video tutorial, I will explain how to implement the REST API in ReactJS using ASP.NET Web API and populate data into a drop down list. And here we got the final output. When I expand this select element, notice the Charan, Jack, Peter, Warren, which includes a tooltip also. And this data we are getting from this ASP.NET Web API in this React component. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. I am using Visual Studio 2019 to create a ASP.NET Web API application, create a new project. And I am selecting ASP.NET Web application which is a .NET framework. Click next. Let's give a project name is Web API React is my project name and I want to save this project in this folder react.js-asp.net core which is in the E drive. After that click create and I am selecting the Web API template. If you want you can click the empty also but I'm here I am choosing Web API create. And here the application has been created successfully. Now let's close this default window, open Solution Explorer, and this is our project. And this project contains some default folders and some configuration files has been created automatically when I create this project. First, I want to create one class to create a properties. So for that, I'm creating a class in this models folder. I click the models folder, add, and selecting class. And the class name is EMP class. Just for the demo purpose, I'm using employee properties here. Let's uh, define some properties. Prop double tab, integer type EMP ID, and the second property for the EMP name, which is a string data type EMP name. After creating, after adding the properties EMP ID and EMP name, now we require the controller. Open Solution Explorer, uh, select the controllers, right click the mouse, add, I'm selecting controller and the controller I'm selecting Web API 2 controller empty, click add. The controller name is the EMP controller. And here we got our controller also. First, let's import our class emp class which is in the models folder web api which is my project name dot models folder after that i am creating one list items so public public list in this list i am adding the type of elements uh, coming from this models so emp class get uh, get emp is my function name and after that let's add the column here now after that I'm again creating one list class to create an object EMP class EC is equals to new list EMP class and here uh, oops I think here we got the column now the next step in this EMP class list item, let's add some data. New EMP class is equals to let's say the not is equals to curly brackets. Mm, the properties on EMP ID is equals to one, and the second property is a string type. So I'm adding the double quotes. Um, this one is the EMP name is equals to. Here I am adding charan, comma, let's add few more data, the second EMP ID 3 and 4, the next one is a jack, and this one is a peter and the EMP name is a varun and after that this function return. 
that's it we have created api let's build this application we'll check the output for this web api run this application and the api is my controller name is emp enter and here we got our list items which contains for employee details employee id and employee name now my aim is i want to fetch this data from this web api into a react js component so let's minimize i'm using visual studio code run as administrator just for the time saving instead of creating a new application i have already created one application in this application i am adding one component in the source folder click new file the file name is uh, asp web api web api get dot js file now in this js file first we need to import react from from react library here is it a react library here i'm creating one function function asp web api which is my component name the file name now before implementing to fetch the records from the asp.net web api using the fetch method let's add a return statement here return which contains a due element implementing asp.net web api to fetch to fetch data yeah react.js drop down list and after that i'm adding one horizontal line let's put this in the center tag so that the output will be the center of the browser here i'm adding one select element now inside the select element i'm adding the option which contains a select label let's make it disable selector i'm adding one more option to display the data this emp web api emp now after that come to the bottom let's export default add asp web api get now save this file let's add our component in index.js file let's import uh, the component asp web api get from asp web api get let's save this file now let's check the output how it looks the designing part on the browser from this react.js application go to view select terminal now i'm adding my project to this path cd chk insert enter npm start is a command to run the application and here we got the output of our react.js application which contains at this moment the only the headers and one drop down list with empty list items. Now let's call this web API, the employee data into this drop down list. Again, switch over to the component. And here I'm adding, now in this component, function component, I'm adding constant, declaring some variables with the result, which is the output of our application and EMP list to get the list from the web API is equals to I'm adding youth state hook which is an array notice here when I add the youth state it's added in our input statement after that now after that the next step is 
use effect method in the use effect i'm adding the fetch method the fetch method takes the request info is the our asp.net web api copy this one and paste here comma button curly brackets let's add the method is get get and require the headers also headers content type is a json content type is application slash json then we require done method in this then response response dot json json method and next we require then response response this emp list we are getting the emp list let's add this object here the final step we need to add array that's it now come to the bottom we'll bind this data here between curly brackets let's add the option option and here we require the result the result dot map let's add a object here we can call it back x put this option here here i'm adding the return statement in this return here in the option i'm adding x dot x dot i'm adding the column name the property name which is the emp name and here in the option i'm adding the tooltip using the title property x dot emp id that's it now let's save this file save all we'll check the new output control c npm start enter and here we got the new output of our react.js application when we touch the web api in react.js component and notice here when i expand this over drop down list there is no data of this the reason we need to configure the cause so open switch over to the asp.net application let's stop debugging open solution explorer this is very important step we need to install manage native packages go to browse and search for cause enter and i'm selecting the asp.microsoft.asp.net web api course which is a version 5.2.7 click install and it will take some time to install these dependencies so please be patient click ok let's accept the license and here the package has been installed successfully Let's close this magic package window. Minimize this one. Minimize. Go to Solution Explorer. Now, after installing that web API course, next step, notice here app underscore start. Open that one. Inside this app underscore start, there is web API config file. Open that one. Now we need to configure here config dot enable course method. After that, let's we need to add this in our controller also. Let's import the method between square backers, enable course, 
we need to install the package system.web.http course now here between double course first one is origin and the second one is headers all are the string types so we need to add between double quotes and the methods that's it let's build the solution let's run the web api again open api forward slash emp now let's run the our react.js application again and we can start and check the output and here we got the final output and I expand this select element notice the charan jack peter warren which includes a tooltip also and this data we are getting from this asp.net web api in this react component that's it Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel.